Welcome to Sheriff on Vibe, the place for travel tips, news, deals, special events, and fun, fun, fun. Now, by now, I know that you are aware that uh, we have lots of mangoes. Oh my goodness, we have mangoes in every size, form, color, description, Julie, Bombay, Beefy, Stringy, uh, Blackie. So of course, with so much mangoes, I get to work. You know, after the first one or two or 20 or more that you just eat and enjoy and welcome the mango season, you really discover that mm -mm, this is too much. Short of having two, three dozen per day, it's not gonna cut it. And from a health standpoint, I learned long ago that too much mango can be way too much. And besides, it makes you very hot. So today I am making mango chutney. So already on the fire, I have added my better mangoes sliced and diced and to that on a brisk fire i have added a generous portion of grated ginger some raisins nice and plump as well as about half of a bottle of cane vinegar which is probably about 250 milliliters and then to that i have added a sprinkling of sugar the recipe actually calls for more sugar but the mangoes are so sweet i'm going very light on the sugar so the chutney has not been bottled the end product of a labor of love mango chutney this one is particularly peppery for those who like it a bit more spicy this is the one that had the scotch bonnet vinegar Hey, I just made a new thing, scotch bonnet vinegar. That was the main vinegar, along with some cane vinegar that was added to the mix. So, I have my mangoes, I have green. I think I'm gonna try a green mango chutney this time. The first one was ripe banana, sorry. Ha, huh, right, mango, ripe mango chutney. Now I'm going to try a green mango chutney and I said banana earlier I wonder if that means I should try banana chutney hmm that should be interesting you know when I get like this it gets a little bit out of hand when we had breadfruit in season it became breadfruit juice and breadfruit chips and breadfruit salad and anything breadfruit so hmm, mango is your time anything can happen in my kitchen this is Sharon ciao for now Thank you.